Hey YouTube, this is Little Rocker Cutie 2005, also known as Andre, back here with ya. And if you're wondering why I'm not sounding so happy, it is because of the movie I have to review tonight for Viewer Request Month. As some of you may know, Hannah, or Miss Poppy 90, requested that I view, review my last two Ralph Bakshi films in my collection. So, the other night I actually watched this movie, and I am going to say that I just did not like this movie one bit. I, I don't even know where to start with it. But in case you're wondering what movie I'm talking about, I'm talking about Ralph Bakshi's Coonskin. This was made in 1975 after he made Heavy Traffic, which was, and Prince the Cat, which were both runaway hits. Um, I'm not sure how well this did in the box office. I do know that when it came out, there was a lot of protesting behind it, and I can, I can honestly see why. I mean... I can see how some people would like this movie, but me, I just didn't. And I'm going to explain why. First of all, you have the live action and animation thing mixed together again, just like with Heavy Traffic, but where Heavy Traffic succeeded with it, this one went overboard with it, and I would have to say that it failed. Also. It deals with a lot of racial stereotypes and racial issues, um, and me, I'm kind of sensitive to racial issues, I mean, being a black person, you know, but this movie I was just not pleased with. It basically revolves around two different stories, the live action story revolving around the jailbreak, and then there's another part of the live action with, um... Uh, Scatman Crothers talking to a young Philip Michael Thomas about these three characters and that's where it goes to the animated part and the animated part revolves around these three characters named Brother Bear, Brother Rabbit, and Brother Fox or yeah I think it's Preacher Fox yeah it's Preacher Fox but almost every character in the movie is black except for you know your basic you know you got the mafia you know they're all white, total stereotypical, and, you know, you got the godfather who was just creepy and ugly, and, and then you got his sons who, dare I say this, I'm not even going to say it, because I, I don't want to be too, too brutal on this movie, because I know there's people out there that like it, but for me, I hated it, and it was a waste of seven bucks for me. But basically, it revolves around these three characters trying to take over Harlem, and Brother Rabbit is basically the one trying to take it over, and it's set up so that he takes out this cop who is, like, working for the Mafia. They, they drug him, uh, cover him in blackface, he gets raped by a gay man, pretty much, and then he runs outside naked and the cops shoot him to death. Then, um... You get the you get the storyline with the Godfather, who's trying to take out Brother Rabbit because he doesn't want Harlem taken over, and you know you're dealing with all kinds of different stereotypes, and it it's just I don't know. I mean, it was too it was too. I'm just gonna say that I fucking hated this movie. There's actually a couple scenes that revolve around this this girl here, and. She's named Miss America. The first scene involving her is actually where this black guy is shooting at her, and she gets him to stop shooting by saying, okay, you win, and she sits on the bench like she's inviting him to basically screw her, and as soon as he gets like on top of her on the bench, he gets shot, So, and she, he goes, she's got the crabs. I'm thinking, crabs, there was a gun in her cooch. Then there's another scene, that, and this scene was actually really touchy with me because this, this, it's sort of reminds me of what happened to me a few years back, and once I explain the scene, I will share my story, and it's basically another black guy's hitting on her, and she softly goes, help, rape, and a noose drops down, and the black guy gets hung. Now, before I get back to the review, I'm going to tell you guys a little story that it's been painful for me in the past, but 
I'm actually open to talk about it now. Um, probably, I want to say, eight, nine years ago, I was friends with this girl in high school. We'd been friends for years, but she had gone on to college, and, she, and before she left, she gave me her number and told me I could call her any time. So I called her, and she, and she never wanted to talk, but, and then the next thing I know, I'm basically being hauled into jail for a night, and I find out she accused me of stalking her. And I had to go to court and everything. Like I said, I spent a night in jail, and I had to go to court. My lawyer basically said, you should plead guilty because you're not going to get a fair trial, black boy versus white girl. And I'm like, what the fuck? But back to this movie, it basically ends with Brother Rabbit is set up the godfather and brother brother bear has actually become like a boxer and uh preacher fox is working for the godfather and he tries to set up brother rabbit but he knew what was going down so they basically made a, a tar brother rabbit and the godfather and his sons show up and they start stabbing the tar tar brother rabbit until they're all caught in it and the real brother rabbit shows up basically blows the godfather and his gay sons up but they're basically like drag queens, I'll just put it that way. The the Godfather sons are all drag queens. And but that's pretty much how the movie ends, and it, then it cuts back to the live action with the jailbreak scene, and that scene is a success. They get their uh Barry White and this preacher guy get their friend Philip Michael Thomas and the Scatman Crothers character out of jail and they make their escape, and that's pretty much how the movie ends. But I gotta say I fucking hated this movie. Out of all of the Ralph Bakshi films that I've seen, and I haven't seen very many, I've seen Fritz the Cat, I've seen Heavy Traffic, and I've seen American Pop, and I've seen this. Oh, and I saw his Lord of the Rings. I did like that. And But this one, I have to say, is actually his worst. And you've probably never heard me say this in a review, but if you, if you see this movie, just avoid it. I'm telling you, avoid it at all costs. And Hannah, Miss Poppy 90, I know you wanted me to review this movie. Um, I reviewed it, but I gotta be brutally honest with you. I, I hated it. And it was a waste of my seven bucks on Amazon when I could have just bought Heavy Traffic and American Pop, but I figured it would be a cheaper deal if I got this in a three-pack with them. And basically it was a waste of seven bucks. So... I'm probably never going to watch this movie again. I'll probably take it up to like the pawn shop or something and pawn it off for something I do like or do want in my collection. But that was my review of Coonskin for Hannah, Miss Poppy 90 for View Request Month. And once again, this is Little Rocker Cutie 2005, also known as Andre. I'll be back with a better review probably in the next day or so. I am going to do another video tonight, but it, it's going to be my first video for my new idea, which I'm going to be talking about music every so often. And since that's going to be my little side project, Buffy Zena Man, or Chris, he's going to be reviewing books because he reads a lot. He reads a little bit more than I do. I mean, I like to read myself, but that's, that's just him. He, he's always got his nose in a book half the time when he's not on his computer. But once again, this is Little Rock of Cutie, 2005, also known as Andre, telling you to enjoy life, enjoy some Skittles, enjoy some Starburst, any more the words of Chris, eat some chicken. Once again, avoid coonskin at all costs. See you guys later.